Hi again. In this lesson, we're going to dig into the power of compounding and how it can work for you and against you in the financial decisions you make, whether that's investing or paying off a credit card. In our lesson on how you make money when investing, we saw that you can make money in two ways. Number one, by the value of your investment increasing when you sell it, or number two, by being paid a regular income like interest. In the case of investment products where you earn interest, like saving accounts or money market funds, you earn interest on the interest you've already earned. This is known as compounding. It means you earn returns on the money you've put in and on the returns or interest you've earned previously. Albert Einstein said compounding was the eighth wonder of the world, but compounding can have both a positive and a negative effect on your personal finances. Let's start with the good side of compounding. There are two important ingredients in good compounding recipe. The time you leave your money invested and the rate of return. The earlier you start and the longer you leave your investments to grow, the better. Let's say you invest 100 Rand a month in a money market fund that pays you 7.5% per year. After five years, you'll have invested 6,000, but you'll have 7,207 in your account. That's 20% growth on the money you put in. Now, if you're patient and keep your money in the investment and keep investing 100 Rand a month for another 25 years, you'll have put in 36,000 Rand, but you'll have 128,289 Rand in your account, almost four times the amount you actually put in. That's why it's so important to invest consistently and start early to give yourself time for compounding to really take effect. The second ingredient in compound growth is the rate of return. Let's say instead of investing in a money market fund, paying 7.5% per year, you invested your 100 Rand in your local equity fund with an average rate of 15% per year of return. Now your investment after 30 years would be worth more than half a million Rand. That's 15 times the amount you put in. To make the most of compound growth, you need to find the highest return over the longest period of time. But bear in mind, the higher the return, the higher the risk. Now let's go to the bad side of compounding. The dark side of compounding happens when you take out a loan or use a credit card. The longer you take to pay off your debt, the more you have to pay in interest. Because you have now to have to pay interest on the amount you owe and on the interest you've incurred, and compounding is working against you. The bottom line. Compounding is one of the most powerful tools in finance. But like other powerful tools, a bulldozer for example, it can either be used to build something or destroy something.